Black Dragon and Ribot. Their first fight gave us one of the sport's greatest playoff moments, a back and forth brawl that saw the Brazilians survive and win a judge's decision after being on fire for more than two minutes. What does the rematch have in store? It's time to find out. Farouk, let's kick this thing off in style. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's robot fighting time! In the Red Square, from Worcester, Massachusetts, step to him and you'll catch a lily battling. It's Ribot! by David Chin there on the right. Took down the fifth seed, Quantum, in the first round. A big upset on paper, but when this frog is firing on all cylinders, it is as dangerous as they come. No doubt squeaked in as the 28th seed after struggling in the qualifiers, but the team is rounding into form at just the right time, Chris, going with their vertical spinner tonight, which has knockout power, but as we know, Black Dragon's only been KO'd once in 26 career fights, so David Jin has to be super aggressive and rack up damage points in case this does go to the judges. In the blue square from Ita Juba, Brazil, this Brazilian spits so much fire, he doesn't speak Portuguese, he speaks Scorchuguese. It's Black Dragon! The joyful college crew led by Captain Julio Cortez. The legend of this robot's toughness has reached new heights after a jaw-dropping performance in the round of 32, Kenny. Absolutely got that last second KO over Ripperoni while engulfed in flames, just outlasted them. And that's what they plan to do again tonight, Chris. Thanks to their world-class durability, Black Dragon loves to play rope-a-dope, take hits, wear down their opponent, and wait for just the right moment to strike. We're feeling pretty confident that we have a much better robot that is much better prepared to fight Black Dragon than we did a few years ago. We know that they don't really commit to the ground game that often, so we're going with a double fork configuration against Black Dragon. We're hoping to be able to get under their front armor and tee them up for a big hit with our vertical spinner. The forks in front of our robot will make the difference in this match. If they go under us, we're gonna get teed up and hit really hard. If we go under them, vice versa. If it's anything like our last matchup, there'll be a lot of fire, a lot of sparks, and some really big hits. He's a very good driver, so it's gonna be a very difficult match. He's gonna try the most to win this fight because they lost the last one. They have a very durable robots too, so I think it's gonna be a just this a just this decision. I think it's gonna be a, a great show to to watch. Jenny, the first time these two met, Black Dragon was on fire for nearly two minutes, ended up winning the fight. What should we expect tonight? Well, when Black Dragon caught on fire in that match, David Jin backed off and waited for it to die. That really hurt Ribot on the scorecard, so don't expect a repeat of that strategy. And while Ribot's using the same 35-pound disc they did in that first fight, the Brazilians are going with a heavier 40-pound egg beater drum. Look for them to go weapon to weapon with the frog here. It's going to take four victories from this point to claim the giant nut. Ribot, Black Dragon, who wants a spot in the quarterfinals? Let the bot battle begin. Oh, face to face. These two are going to stand and trade early here, Chris. Look out. Oh, Black Dragon getting underneath Ribot. Oh. Landing some nice shots, but Ribot coming right back. Black Dragon inverted. Belly after oh. that latest shot by Ribot and Black Dragon's delivering a shot. 
What a nasty brawl so far, Chris. Just 30 seconds into the fight. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Rimon pushing Black Dragon into the screws of the upper deck. Can he get him up? Can he get him up? Rimon continues to play the aggressor. David Jin is looking for a knockout here. Black Dragon won't go down easy. Oh, oh my goodness. David Jin talked about his confidence. You can understand why. Oh! Shot by Black Dragon. But their drive is compromised on that left side, Chris. Ribot needs to put them away. You cannot let Black Dragon hang around. They will make you pay. Only to knock down once in 26 career fights, and Black Dragon's weapon is still spinning, and it is still dangerous. Absolutely. With the power of these two weapons, one shot can change this fight in an instant. Ribot trying to get a good angle. Oh, oh another shot by Ribot. Oh. Black Dragon is hurt. Their weapon is still spinning. Ribot backs away. They think they have the knockout. They are not moving. Count up! Count up! David Jin calling for a countdown. Whether Black Dragon's stuck or incapacitated, yeah, yeah, they're simply running yeah. out of time. Oh, oh. The countdown has started. Black Dragon's still unable to move. Ribot with its second straight upset to advance to the round of eight. Black Dragon's duck luck runs out. Woo! Kenny, this one had the feel of a back alley bare knuckle brawl. Both teams eager to stand in and trade shots, but it was Ribot that imposed its will early. My goodness, some monster shots from Ribot, but of course, Black Dragon just kept on coming. How about this counter shot by the Brazilians over by the upper deck? Nasty. Black Dragon lost half its drive in that exchange, kept on punching, and eventually the frog struck the death blow. Yeah, this shot in the corner was the one that did it. KO'd Black Dragon for only the second time in its career and sent Ribot into the quarterfinals.